in high definition. This is News Channel 5, today in St. Louis. Coming up, I'll tell you what you need to know about massage therapy, including how much you can make as a massage therapist. As the unemployment line gets longer, enrollment goes up at several schools around St. Louis. However, this morning we're not talking about graduate school. Heidi Glaus is live in Maplewood at the Healing Arts Center to explain. Heidi? We're talking about massage therapy school. I feel like I should kind of be whispering <laughs> as you lay there and relax, Beth. But you're seeing enrollment up right now, right, Tom? Yes, this is an exciting time for people to get into alternative health care. You know, it's really a growing field. And which is something that didn't really start out that way, but now we were looking at the job board downstairs and more and more people are hiring massage therapists. There are new opportunities. You know, I've been doing this since 1991 and it was mostly just, you know, kind of relaxation station kind of stuff, but now it's even in medical spas and, uh, you know, my dentist has a massage therapist in his office. I mean, because people are stressed out when they go to the dentist, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're really seeing it everywhere. Now, something that I wanted to find out about is uh, how much money can a massage therapist really make? Is this a good living? Well, we were looking at some of the statistics earlier and, you know, the average average is anywhere between like 35,000 to, uh, what was the high number, 60 something? 60 or 80. 60 or even 80,000 dollars. Yeah. yeah. Which is very nice. Now, do your hands cramp up as the day goes on if you're a massage therapist? There are some self-care, you know, it's one of the first things we teach our students is how to be healthy and how to use their bodies healthy, you know, so they don't, they don't have to come away with any workplace injuries. And uh, no, they don't cramp up. Now, Tom owns uh, the Helene Arts Center and is director and, and teacher, but these are two of his students, Beth and Corey. So you're going to graduate here in a little while. What has this been like? What have you learned? I've learned so much more than what I thought I was going to. I thought I was just going to learn about massage, but it's so much more. I mean, you can, you can help people so much, and it's very fulfilling. And plus, getting massages is, is great. <laughs> that is one of the cool things, because this is kind of a, a hands-on. You have books, and you're learning about the muscles, but you do a lot of hands-on as well with this, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's, we really start with that uh, from the very beginning. We're, we're touching each other and getting comfortable with appropriate and safe touch. You know, a lot of the people that we help with massage therapy are those that haven't had, you know, the kind of touch that's... Uh, conducive to healing or even to relaxation. Now, Corey, you were in the restaurant business and just decided to make a life change. Yes, I just wanted a better life for myself, uh, learn how to live more healthy, and be able to pass that on to others who are struggling out there and just uh, teach them how to learn, for their bodies to learn how to heal on their own. So has this been a big change for you? Have you felt the difference just coming here and learning? Absolutely amazing. Um, from walking into orientation through you know, the graduation next week, the instructors are so passionate about what they do, and it just shows every day that I'm here in class. Awesome. Well, you guys, good luck with your new careers. To become a massage therapist takes about a year. And for more information about the Healing Arts Center, you can go to KSDK.com. They actually have a new session beginning in a couple weeks, May 25th. Today in St. Louis, we'll be back after this. You really got the best part of this job this morning.